hi everyone welcome back again to my channel my name is osere me and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this pencil short skirt with a tear layer net as you can see in the video and on the picture on the side so if this is something you're interested in keep on watching and let's get started so guys for this tutorial i am going to be making use of one yard of african print you can make use of one and a half yard depending on your size and for the net i'm going to be using this net here and i have two yards if you want your skirt to be fuller than the way mine looked you will definitely need about four yards of fabric so now we're going to start by folding the fabric that i have here into two equal halves we are going to be cutting out the front and back of the skirt together so first i'll fold my fabric into two equal halves and i'm going to go ahead and iron it out and then i am going to go ahead and fold it again so this is into two and then i'm folding it again this time is into four but you notice that the other fold i made here did not get all the way to the end it's about one and a half inch away from the end this one and a half inch from this end is going to serve as zipper allowance for the back of our skirt now from the middle of the second fold i measure to the side to make sure that what i have is going to be enough for my hip measurement and then i still have about two inches extra for stitching allowance after folding it like this you're going to go ahead and draw a straight line across the top to serve as the starting line and i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out so now i'm going to start taking my measurement from here and i'm going to extend my tape by two inches um this is because i'm going to be having a band at the top so from the top i measure down to eight inches my eight inches point which is my shoulder to hip measurement and then i'm going to mark at 18 inches for the length of this skirt now by the time i'm done sewing i want it to be about 17 inches long so i'm marking it as 18 inches for now so i'll draw a straight line across the hip line and the end of the skirt so on this waist here i'm going to take my measurement from the second fold i marked my waist measurement divided by four and i'm adding extra one inch for that and from this second point i'm going to add an extra one and a half inch for my stitching allowance on the side now from the front fold again i'm going to go in by on the hip line my hip measurement divided by four and then i added extra one and a half inch for stitching allowance and at the end the measurement i have on the hip i'm just going to remove one inch so i had 10 inches 10 minus one is nine i'll just mark nine inches at this end so i'll connect all the last points together to give me my skirt shape So guys, once you are through with this, we are going to go ahead and cut it out. So I'll just cut around the shaped area and then around the end. So this is my basic short skirt. It's a mini skirt. The top is the front and the one with the extra allowances is going to be the back. So from the center here, from the front piece, I'm going to go in by half of my nipple to nipple measurement, which was three and a half, and I'll make a notch here. So this is going to be where I will stitch down my dart. So I'll go ahead and cut out lining pieces for all this. Guys, your lining piece must be exactly as your skirt is. The only difference between the lining and the actual fabric is that I reduced the lining by half inch at the end so that um, the lining doesn't show when we are done sewing the skirt. So just reduce the lining by half inch at the end and that's all. But every other thing is the same. So once you're chill with that, go ahead and pin the lining and the actual fabric together make sure to align it just like i'm doing here and i'm going to make a stitch here and once i'm through with that i will raise the lining to meet the top you will notice that the actual fabric will fold up a little bit on the end so i will just go ahead and stitch down this side and do the same thing for the other side as well and i will also repeat the same thing for the back pieces after i was done stitching down the front this is what it looks like you can see the actual fabric coming up a little bit towards the back so that's the same thing i did for the back pieces as well so this is the front and then for the back pieces i also went ahead to stitch it down and you can see that the actual fabric also comes up a little bit so i'm arranging everything now just the same way we cut it out earlier so just arrange everything in place and my 
that area that i marked earlier is no longer showing so from the center here center of the front i'm going to go in with the same three and a half inches and mark my notch again so that i'll be it will be very visible for me to go ahead and stitch down my dart so from the point that i just made i will fold it in and i'm going to stitch it down by four inches and do the same thing here go down by four inches and i'll repeat the exact same process for the back piece stitch it down by four inches both on the front and back so guys i'm just stitching down the dart for the front and the back pieces as you can see like i said the length of the dart was about four inches long so now i'm going to go ahead and just pin the center back where we are going to be having our zipper allowance so i'm just pinning it out i'm using the front to just measure where it's supposed to be so after i was done pinning out the center back because i don't want to make any stitch there yet so i'm going to place it together right sides facing each other with the front so the front and the back pieces like this and i'm going to head over to the sewing machine to stitch down the sides so on the waist i'll mark my waist measurement here on the hip my hip measurement and then take it down like that so i'm going to do that right now and i'll be right back so i'm done stitching down the sides now and this is what it's looking like so i'm going to turn everything over to the wrong side so that i can remove the pins from the center back that's the zipper allowance area we're not going to be fixing our zipper yet until we add the tear layer skirt so you're going to go ahead and open the whole skirt up like i'm doing like this and first i'm going to fold it in from the center front just fold the whole waist area of the skirt into two equal halves remember that i have not reduced the front waist by any inches i'm supposed to have done that earlier so i came down by one inch and then cut into the front waist this way i've reduced the front waist by one inch so that it will sit perfectly when we wear it now we are going to be placing our net on top of this but i realized that because of the shape of my hip i cannot just cut it out straight with my waist measurements because the hip is going to actually affect it so what i decided to go ahead and do is take a measurement around my waist from the front to the back and i had 27 inches so i decided to fold my my net in a way that i'm going to be cutting it out like a flare so i folded it into two from one end like this so that it will not be tight on the hip area or another way i would have been able to do this was to make gathers but i decided to go with the flare method so i folded the net into two like this and i'm going to divide that measurement i got which was 27 so 27 divided into two equal halves was 13 and a half so i used the 13 and a half to just make measure on this area here so 13 and a half so when i got 13 and a half i'm just going to go ahead and cut a straight line across this point so this is going to become the waist at the 13 and a half inches point so after doing that i'm going to i decided to fold this into two again just so it will be easier for me to work with so i folded it into two like this now it's now into four it doesn't change anything guys it doesn't change anything you can keep it open as it was but i just folded it up so that you guys will be able to see everything i'm doing on camera so now you're going to bring your skirt and you're going to measure the length of your skirt so for me the length of my skirt right now is about 15 inches long now i'm just going to straighten this area up i folded it into four and now it doesn't look straight anymore so from here i'm going to measure down to 15 inches and then i'm going to add extra inches to that because this skirt is going to be longer than my pencil skirt right so i decided to cut this out at 22 inches length so that means i added seven extra inches to 15 so this skirt is seven inches longer than my pencil skirt so this is going to be the first layer of my net now i am going to be placing this on top of my pencil skirt so i'll just align the waist area i hope you guys understand you see how i've aligned it and it's now longer than the pencil skirt itself so i'm going ahead to just pin the net the waist area of the net with the waist area of the pencil skirt just like you see me doing like this and i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and just make a straight stitch to join the two pieces together so guys after joining the pieces at the waist uh one thing i decided to do is i arrange the skirt as it's supposed to be so go ahead and arrange your skirt because this is a flare 
you will notice that the back the flare is a little bit wider so i'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess flare i have here i just tried to make sure i follow a straight line okay so from the waist i cut off the excess and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well so just arrange everything make sure it's looking straight and from the waist go ahead and cut off the excess just cut off the excess is nothing serious so that the flare is not too wide under so now this is what i have now i'm going to be working on the next layer that we are going to be attaching to this first flare here so for this i've cut out this long piece of fabric as you can see now the length is seven inches and the width is about three and a half inches the width was about three and a half inches and this is more than twice the measurement i have on the first layer which is that flare so make sure that whatever measurement you are taking for the second layer is at least twice the measurement you have on the first layer which is the flare we cut out so what i have here is about three and a half inches is actually almost four inches for this first layer so i'm going to go ahead and make gathers on this i already went ahead to make a gather stitch all the way around one edge so you're going to pull on this gather now just pull on one of the thread to give you your gathers and i'm just going to continue to pleat on it just draw on the thread to gather it until i get to the other end guys this was a little bit time consuming trust me this this is the first layer and it was so stressful not to talk of the second layer but anyways i am going to now arrange this to be sure it goes all the way around the first layer of flare that i cut out earlier so i had to arrange it in a way that it was easier for me to so i'm going to go ahead and make a top stitch now stitching this second layer on the first layer of flare until i get to the other end just making a top stitch so after i was done top stitching this second layer to the first layer this is what i have so far you can see how it's looking now we are going to be working on the third layer of flare of gathers not flare so the third layer is going to be pleated on this second layer so that means that i have to have a very long piece of fabric so the piece of fabric i'm going to have to get should be at least twice the length of the first layer so this one should be at least seven yards long and what i had here was about eight and a half yards remember that the first one we pleated was three and a half yards so i had to join several pieces to get at least twice of that measurement the height of the flare is of the piece is still the same thing it's just that this one is very long about eight yards so you have to join as many pieces as you have and if you have enough fabric to work with you can actually double the the net this way to have a fuller look i didn't have enough fabric to work with so i'm still working with a single layer of net but i just made sure that it's at least twice the measurement i had on the first layer so i'm also going to go ahead and pleat this all the way around guys this was stressful this was very stressful but it's worth it at the end of the day so i'm done pleating this now as you can see i've made the gathers so we are going to be stitching this on the second layer so i've measured it is exactly the same length as what i have on the second layer so i'm going to be top stitching this all the way around the second layer just like we did the first time so i will top stitch this until i get to the other end now this is me on the sewing machine this is how i make my top stitch you're just going to place it on top and just stitch down it's nothing serious because this is a net it's not going to fray so i didn't have to bother myself with the edges because this is net so this is what i had after i was done um stitch it down the two layers you can see what it looks like if you want yours to be fuller it means that you have to work with longer lengths of gathers so that's just it this is all the fabric i had i made use of two yards remember so this is how full i can get my own layer of flesh to be so now the next thing i'm going to do as you can see i'm arranging all the pieces i'm arranging it at the back at the center back which is where our zipper is going to be so just go ahead and arrange everything arrange the net arrange the actual and um, the pencil skirt part arrange everything right sides facing each other and i'm going to go ahead and just pin it all the way to the end so i'll pin the skirt part the pencil skirt part and the net skirt part so just pin it all the way to the end just like you see me doing like this and you will make sure to leave some inches away from the top because that inches you are leaving at the top is going to be the zipper allowance so from the waist here 
i'm going to come down by nine inches and make a mark here so from this mark i'm going to make a straight stitch all the way to the end and i'll be fixing my zipper on the top part where i didn't stitch down so after making our first stitch this is what the back is looking like so far it's already looking up very nice i actually like how it's coming out so it's for me to fix a zipper to this opening i have on the top and then work on the band now for the band i have this piece of fabric that i've cut out i didn't have any interfacing to make it strong because at the time i was making this tutorial i didn't have any interfacing now the length of this is just enough to go around my waist and the width is about one and a half inches wide i decided not to use two inches again because i didn't want the band to be too wide so i'm going ahead to just pin this all the way around the waist just like you see me doing like this you can pin it all the way around it's very simple so i'm going to pin this around like you see me doing like this and i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and just make a stitch to join it down and after joining the band to the waist i'll fix my zipper to the back and that will basically be all for the making of this kit so guys i'm done fixing the zipper and i fixed the band and made sure to serge around the waist so that it's not looking rough there and this is what the skirt is looking like thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one